is your, your biggest threat in this tournament? Uh, well, there's, I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of top uh, top players here. I mean, obviously, Stan's a defending champion, and um, you know, we'll be we'll be confident um, with that as a new experience as well. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how 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 he handles that. Um, but he, he's obviously finished the end of last year with the Davis Cup and and, uh, and winning Chennai um, last week, so I'm sure he'll be confident. Um, and then yeah, all of the the obvious uh, the obvious suspects and same same names, um, you know. And then if you add some of the the younger guys that that have been coming through the last year or so. Um, you know, Nishikori, Dimitrov, Ryanich, you know, these these guys. Um, yeah, and also you, you don't know, a lot of guys can, can make big improvements in the off-season if they have five or six weeks training to work on things and get physically stronger. So it'll be, be an interesting tournament. Uh, this Australian Open normally throws throws up a few surprises, so it'll be, be fun to watch. And you, you've had a lot of success here, very consistent. What, what is it about the tournament that suits you? Um, well, I, I do like the conditions here. I mean, I, I've obviously, hard courts is a surface I feel very comfortable on. Um, I like uh, I like the balls they use here. Um, they're a bit slower than the, the ones at the US Open, um, and I like that. And then... I mean, normally, you know, if you you put in put in good work in the off season and work hard, you're you're gonna get good rewards um, at the beginning of the year. And um, I feel like um, you know the the effort and, and, and work that I've put in, in in December over the years has has helped me here.